how to store your Dash using the Ledger Nano S. That's what this video is about. So my name is Tom Porter, and I wanted to make this video to talk about how to store your Dash in a secure way using the uh, hardware wallet made by Ledger, uh, which is the Nano S. You know, I've recently got the Nano, and something that I've realized was that each of the currencies that you want to store on this device actually takes some pretty specialized knowledge um, in order to pull that off. And so I wanted to go through what I know about storing each of the different cryptocurrencies, and that's kind of the spirit behind this series, is just passing on the information to you so that you can get dialed in on using the Nano. Now today we're going to be talking about um, storing Dash on the Nano. So I really believe that uh, Dash has a pretty good shot at being a widely accepted and used cryptocurrency um, by society in general, by the masses. Just kind of off the top of my head, um, there's three reasons that I'm kind of a Dash believer. The way that the Dash blockchain actually works is very anonymous. And what that means is that when you exchange, exchange Dash with another person, it's really hard to track. And I think for that reason, Dash has a really good shot at actually being something that people use quite a bit because it has the same characteristic as physical cash has, right? Um, physical cash is a really hard thing to track and it, I, I believe it's the reason why it's so widely used in society. And so if you're going to design a crypto um, that's gonna replace that, you really need that crypto to inherit that same characteristic. And so it's, that's one of the really big reasons why I am a pretty big Dash believer. Uh, the second reason for me is um, deflationary pressure. And that just means that there's a certain amount of Dash that are defined to be created. And after that happens, there's really not gonna be any more Dash out there in the world. What's cool about that to me is that there's no government that is able to manipulate it and cause inflation by adding to the money supply. If there's not gonna be any more of it made, that is by the very definition a deflationary environment. And so I love that. Um, severe preservation of value there. Um, and then kind of the last thing for me, which I think is really important for something to have you know, any shot at being widely accepted, is speed. The speed of the blockchain is so important. And um, you know, for me, that's one of the reasons why I believe that Bitcoin, you know, it may go higher and it really is kind of this uh, gold 2.0, if you will, but I really don't think that it has a shot at actually replacing fiat currency in any fashion because it's just, the blockchain is just too slow. <laughs> it's just, you can't wait 45 minutes to get, uh, you know, approved for a cup of coffee. So those are the reasons that I'm a real Dash believer and I'm a long-term holder. Okay, so let's just get started. Um, in order to pull this off, you're gonna have to go to ledgerwallet.com and you're gonna have to click on apps and come down here and you're gonna have to download these two uh, Chrome browser uh, extensions. So this whole thing works off of the Google Chrome browser and uh, these are the two extensions that you have to download in order to get Dash uh, working with your Nano. So the first one is the Ledger Manager and this is what this is the Chrome extension that uh, allows you to put each of the individual cryptocurrency apps on the Nano itself. It's a basic, basically it's a manager for your Nano. And then the Ledger Wallet, Bitcoin, and altcoins, this is the actual wallet. And it, it just allows you to access your Bitcoin and your other cryptos um, where they live out there on the blockchain. Okay, so always keep in mind that um, if you're going to any website to do with crypto, you always wanna hit the URL and make sure that you're on the HTTPS site. And you also wanna make sure that you're actually looking at the URL address that you're supposed to be looking at, the one exactly where you're supposed to be because uh, like I said before, and I try to hammer in as much as possible, this is another way people are getting their coins stolen is they're going to uh, websites that uh, really look like where they're supposed to be and they're entering in their information only to figure out that it's actually a website that's owned by a hacker and the hacker is recording that information and then using it to steal their coins. So always make sure, good practice, that you're on HTTPS, the secure site, and that you are at the URL that you're supposed to be looking at. Okay, so I've already downloaded the manager, but just really quickly, I wanna talk through how um, I would go about installing the Dash app on my Nano. I would come to um, Chrome, just go ahead and launch the Ledger Manager. I've obviously already installed the Ledger Manager. If you don't have that installed um, as an extension yet, um, you would just simply do that by going to ledgerwallet.com and clicking on this and uh, downloading that extension. So I've just put in my PIN number and to install the Dash app on my Nano itself, all I did was come here, 
and I clicked this arrow. Now it's going to say installing application. Now since I already have the application installed on my Nano, I'm not going to worry about this. I'm going to actually just bounce out of here. So let me just show you really quickly um, here. This is um, the main screen of my Nano and you can see that I have um, a couple of cryptocurrency apps already installed here. And um, we're going to come over to Dash and one of the settings that we're going to set before we try to access the Dash uh, wallet is we're going to um, open the Dash app on the Nano by basically going to it first and then clicking both of these buttons here. Now it says use wallet to view accounts and this is where we would go back to our computer and actually open the wallet which we're going to do in a sec. But we want to make sure that this setting is set right here. I'm going to come down to settings, click both of those buttons, and you want to click browser support, both of those buttons to get into it. And you want to make sure that browser support is, uh, that no is selected under browser support. Which is kind of funny to me because um, I'm actually um, accessing this app through the browser. I'm going to click back here. But this is the setting that you have to have um, set in order to access your Dash Wallet. I'm not really sure why that's the case, but you have to have browser support. Uh, you have to have no selected under browser support. All right, I've got no selected on my browser support. I'm in the apps on my Chrome browser, and I'm going to open up the Chrome extension Ledger Wallet Bitcoin um, inside of Chrome. Now, where did I get that? I got that right here. I went to ledgerwallet.com and I selected Ledger Wallet Bitcoin and altcoins and that downloaded this extension to my Chrome browser and that's what you're seeing right now. I'm not going to bore you with the process of actually downloading that and installing the app because I think that's pretty self-explanatory. So it's really as easy as that. That's how you get into your Dash Wallet um, with your Nano. So the scenario that I always like to talk about is that like let's say you went to coinbase.com and you bought some Ethereum or you bought some Bitcoin. You took that Bitcoin, you put it on an exchange, and then you used it to buy um, some Dash. And now you want to pull your Dash that you own off of the exchange, right? Because exchanges are very insecure. Um, we've all heard the stories of them coming and going, and, and the exchange is actually getting hacked and getting all the, the coins taken. So as soon as you buy a cryptocurrency, you want to pull it off the exchange pretty much as soon as you can, which I'm just going to do it right here for you. My exchange is Binance. It's the exchange um, that I like to use. And I've kind of gone over why that's the case before. There's a link in the description if you guys want to check out uh, Binance. And what I'm going to do inside of Binance is I'm going to log in and I'm just going to come down to funds and deposits and withdrawals. And I'm going to find my dash, which is right here. And I'm going to click on withdraw. Now, here's the dialog box that talks about what dash address would you like to withdraw to, right? So the place where we get that is my dash wallet. So you're going to come down here, you're going to come to Ledger Wallet Bitcoin, which we're looking at my Dash Wallet. And I'm going to come up here to Receive, because that's what I want to do. And here's my Dash address, which I receive Dash to. So this is the address here where people can send Dash to. Um, it's kind of your public address. And this QR code is the same thing. It's um, where people can scan with their phones and send you Dash if they want to. Wow, my dog is snoring like crazy. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this dash address right here and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come back to the exchange and I'm going to paste that into dash withdraw address. And then the amount is I'm going to click max because I want to pull all of the dash that I have off the exchange. And here's what it's saying that I'm going to get and here's the fee that it's saying that's going to charge me. And all I'm going to do is click submit. So I'm going to come out here to my phone and I've got my Google Authenticator number right here. It's turning red. I got to hurry up and enter it. Okay, looks like it went through and it's going to send me an email just to confirm that that's what I want to do and that I'm the person that's uh, asking to withdraw my money. So I'm going to come into uh, my email program and I'm going to click confirm withdraw. All right, and then it says your withdrawal has uh, been successfully confirmed. So what we're going to do is close this. Uh, after a certain amount of confirmations, what's going to happen is you're going to see your Dash um, come into your Dash wallet. So I'm going to drink some tea and I'm going to wait for that to happen. So the Dash actually came through in less than a minute and it probably came through even faster than that. Um, I just didn't click synchronize um, so I couldn't see it. So like I said, Dash is really fast. Um, at least that's been my experience with it. And um, that's one of the reasons that I'm, a, I'm a, definitely a buyer and a holder 
um, of Dash. So that's really it. That's how you would move Dash from your exchange to your Dash wallet um, using the Nano. Now let's just say really quickly, hypothetically, you wanted to send some Dash to somebody, right? What you would do is you would come here to this screen and you would just click on Send Dash. And then right here in recipient address is where you would paste their Dash address in and you would simply just click uh, send and it would go out and after a certain number of confirmations, that person would have the amount of Dash that you uh, wanted to send them. Pretty easy. Now something that I wanted to talk about really quickly about the Nano was that um, I've been recommending in the past videos that if you have more than five cryptocurrencies, you should really think about um, maybe getting two um, nanos. And somebody corrected me actually in the comments and they said that you can use the nano with more than five cryptocurrencies, but what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to um, basically add and remove the apps off of the nano in order to access more than five because you can only have up to five um, crypto apps on the nano at one time. What that means is that if you want to access more than the five limit, like if you want to access a sixth, what you'll have to do is you'll have to remove one of the apps off of the Nano and then place the new crypto app on there um, and then use it to access, you know, whatever coin that you want to access. And then if you ever want to go back and access the one that the with the app that you removed, you're basically going to have to take another one off and put that app back on the Nano and then use it to access your coins. So you can use the Nano to um, access more than five, and, I'm sorry, access and store more than five cryptos, but it's really, in my mind, it's kind of a hassle. And so knowing that, that's the reason that I recommend that if you have more than five cryptos and you're dealing with this a lot, like just get, just get two nanos. You know, I don't think they're that expensive, um, but that's just my personal opinion. If you really want to, you know, do the thing where you're adding and removing the apps off the nano, go ahead and do that. I'm just... I'm not going to recommend that because that would drive me crazy. Okay, guys, lastly, and just really quickly, um, there's a link in the description to um, a boot camp that I'm going to be running completely for free. It's a totally free boot camp um, that's designed to really um, help you capitalize on the blockchain, as I like to call it, or this uh, adoption of cryptocurrencies that's going to be happening over the next couple of years. Like right now, your friends probably don't even know what cryptocurrency is, right? At least a lot of my friends don't. And when I start talking about it, I get these really weird looks, um, which to me is, is kind of cool because what it means is that um, we're still really early in this revolution. And so there's so much opportunity um, of being an early adopter of this and really understanding what's happening with it. And so buying and holding for me is really the strategy. And I want it to... Uh, in this boot camp, I want to give you the tools that you need in order to capitalize on this and to really understand um, what's happening. So there's a page that's linked in the description where you can go and um, when the boot camp's released, um, I'll just let you know. So it's just basically an early bird list uh, for that boot camp. And as always, if you have any comments or you have ideas for these videos that you'd like to know about, feel free to put them in the comment section. I uh, love hearing from you guys. Hope this helps.